we're back for the NAB Show Centennial Event, the pinnacle event for all in the global broadcast, media, and entertainment industry. Capitalize, content, and create. We've got everything you could possibly need right here in Vegas. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Basker of Amagi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Great to see you. Basker, can you tell me a little bit about Amagi uh, in the media and broadcasting industry and how your company is preparing for the future? I guess media is going through one of the most fundamental transformation that's happened over a long time now. I think a decade back, Amagi started the whole idea of cloud transformation for broadcasters. And we're seeing this as a full-fledged transformation that's happening as we speak here. Uh, everybody talks about cloud these days. Uh, Ten years back, when we were starting off, uh, was, it was a very, very, very big transformation. Uh, we continue to see this as a big transformation for the whole decade that's happening. That's the first one. The second one is really streaming TV and fast has become a norm in the industry. The free ad-supported streaming TV model is the future of television. So all of the cable is getting replicated as almost fast going forward. I think uh, we at Amagi are very fortunate to be kind of managing these two, two trends, creating the tech infrastructure for our customers for these two big trend lines that are starting to happen. And uh, we're quite excited about where we are and for the industry. <laughs> sure, and you touched on it a little bit, but what trends are you noticing right now? Two big trends. One is uh, as customers are moving out of subscription, so advertising-based models are becoming super important. So we're seeing a lot of customers wanting to really do ad-based models. Second, we're seeing what we call the omni-channel strategy. Content owners, TV networks want to take their content and distribute it to many, many different destinations. Unlike the exclusive direct-to-consumer models that existed earlier, I think we're seeing a big change on those fronts. Right. And so what is Amagi currently showcasing right now here at the show? Amagi is showcasing multiple aspects and kind of I'll walk you through a bunch of things that's happening. It's exciting for us where we are today. Uh, six things that I want to talk about. One is what we call an Amagi Connect. Amagi Connect is a marketplace that we've evolved between platforms which want to do ad monetized uh, distribution of content with content owners and TV networks who want to really bring their content to fast. So we're creating a marketplace of sorts. We're seeing a lot of excitement around it where 150 plus platforms have connected to our platforms and we have 150 plus channels coming together. So it's a great switch of a marketplace that we're creating. Uh, it's almost like Tinder for the, for the platforms and the content owners to come together. So really a dating platform of some fashion. So that's important for us that we see. The second thing that's happening is Magi, we have hundreds of customers today and uh, we're starting a certification program for a lot of our customers who want to get certified on Amagi products. So that's a big, big announcement that we have in terms of certification and consulting that we're starting to do. That's the second big thing that we're doing for in this particular show. The third aspect is in terms of news and sports, uh, we're seeing a lot more feature sets that's happening. Low latency sports and news is a big part of the whole equation. You'd have seen our Sinclair announcement. So Sinclair, uh, the first largest news broadcaster, is uh, looking for a whole cloud migration strategy and Amagi is their cloud player partner choice. So that's a big one for us as well. Uh, the broadcast migration, as I told you, is happening from on-prem to cloud and Imagine uh, and Amagi have come together to provide customers a great hybrid platform where you can do on-prem for some time and actually some of the workloads you can move to the cloud and do the playouts as well. So that's the big thing that we're really announcing this, this time as well in terms of what we did. So all in all, I think it's, a, it's a, a lot of things happening right now. The big migration story, the fast story, both are really playing out for us and for our customers. Absolutely, and now are these things, all these things are current. Is there anything you want to touch on that we might see in the future? Uh, future, I think quite a bit of things. Obviously, I think uh, generative AI is here for everybody. Everybody talks about GPT, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more on the show. And uh, hopefully by next year, you're going to see a lot more products which are more AI integrated and uh, AR, VR integrated. That's where the future is as we see it. Right. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Have a great rest of the thank show. You.